apparatus and today we're going to assemble the Bentley crib. Please make sure you have all the proper pieces and hardware and if anything is missing, please call consumer care. One way to know if you have the proper hardware is to compare it to the illustrations that come with the instructions. Like so. The first step is to attach the rear legs to the back rail. And for this, we're going to need two pins, four barrel nuts, and four 85 millimeter bolts. And of course, your Allen wrench. Remember to use the label as guidance. And since the barrel nuts go on the back, we're gonna turn over this piece. First, we're going to insert the pin so we can attach the rear leg. Then we're going to insert the barrel nut and it should be done sideways so the bolt can go through. And remember to use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten all the bolts. Done. The second step is to attach the ends of the crib to the back rail. We have to turn this piece over because we're going to work on the inside. Remember to always use the labels as guidance. And for this step, we're going to need six 40 millimeter bolts and the Allen wrench. And if you're doing this by yourself, it's easier to do it on the floor. Remember to use the short side of the Allen wrench to tighten all the bolts. And you're done. And the next step is to attach the mattress support. And for this, we're going to need four 18 millimeter bolts. Remember to use the highest position for newborn and then go downwards as your child grows. Use the shirt side of the Allen wrench to tighten all the bolts. The next step is to attach the front legs and stabilizer bar to the front rail. And for this, you're going to need four metal pins and six 60 millimeter bolts, and of course, your Allen wrench. Remember to use the label as guidance since we're going to be working on the inside.
you're done. Now we're going to attach the front rail to the rest of the crib. And for this, we're going to need six 40 millimeter bolts and the Allen wrench. Use the sure side of the Allen wrench to tighten all the bolts. And you're done. Don't forget to put away the instructions in the pouch. Like so. Congratulations, you've just assembled your Bentley crib. Now we're going to convert your crib into a day bed. Remember those instructions you put away? You're going to need them. Remember for this part, your mattress support should be on the lowest position because now your child is older. First, we're going to detach the front rail from the crib. Now we're going to disassemble the front rail. Now we're going to reattach the front legs to the stabilizer bar. And for this, we're going to need two pins and two 60 millimeter bolts. There you go. Now we're going to reattach the front legs and stabilizer bar to the crib. And for this, you're going to need six 40 millimeter bolts. And that's it. A toddler guardrail and crib conversion rails are available for purchase.